afternoon. Hello. And welcome to this very special edition of Coffee with the Claires. Claire, lovely to see you. And you. I can see you. We're together. <laughs> Last, it was two weeks ago. I know. It was, well, I haven't seen you for ages. It's all been right. very virtual, hasn't yes, it? it? Very has, virtual. It but we're here busy. in the studio together on the sofas. And we've got a really good uh, Coffee with the Claires today. So uh, make sure you tell us where you are. Say hello. Uh, we don't know if you're out there unless you put your name and something in the comments. Yes, we know um, there's, there's about 100 or more of you, but we don't know who you are. We don't know who you are. We've got um, a really special guest that you all know and love coming up soon. Uh, we have Sam and Freya in the comments looking after the uh, back end of the session. So if you've got any questions, Sam and Freya will be shouting at us to get those answered. They'll be waving a sticker. Yes, yeah. waving their question stick. Um, and obviously we have a very special guest that you can ask questions as well. We do. How's things, Claire? Tell it's us. Good. What's it's been good. up? What have you been up to? Just a little reminder though, as always, if you see any links that are posted, do not click the unless they are posted by OM system so uh, there's a few scammy links happening so do not click them everything we do is free all of our live sessions are free so please don't click any links so yes it's been busy Claire. it's been We've, so busy oh, we had we had the launch of the OM5 OM5 has been amazing I've been using it oh well here it is there it is I've been using it a lot it's um you know I always normally go straight for the OM1 yes because all the M1X because they're the sort of flagship cameras that when you have all the cameras at your disposal, you tend like, to go for the one? flagship. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. have totally fallen in love with the OM5. Yes. Uh, I didn't think I would. I'm not going to lie. I said this to you before. You did. You did. Um, and now I love it. Um, I'm off again for work tomorrow, and this will be the one. I'm, I'm going to while I'm away uh, in Stockholm. I'm going to be photographing some of the, the train stations, which nice. are art installations. Yes. What a perfect combination. Small light, live ND. Yeah. That's in the underground, cannot wait. So, uh, yes, I've totally fallen in love with the own five, which we're going to sort of talk a little bit about today, aren't we? We are. So before before the launch, yes. we went off on an adventure. We did. Well, we had the photography show, and before that, we went off <laughs> on an adventure. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's, it's been a few <laughs> months, yeah. So we went to Switzerland together. We did go to Switzerland. <laughs> it was, I know, it's like, where did we go? We did go you to Switzerland. You keep saying Sweden. I do. We went to Sweden, and we went. So we created this um, incredible launch video with yes. our global team where we went around the world. Hopefully you've all seen it. If not, head on over to the YouTube channel um, and give it a watch because it was so much fun to it was shoot fun. and it was so much fun to put together yeah. um, and to see it all come together. So we did our part from beautiful mountain uh, in Switzerland, Mount Pilatus. Mount Pilatus. And it was such a fun adventure. It was. We had uh, a short time to plan it and execute it and, yeah. and get going um, and we took our wonderful ambassador, Gavin Hoey, with us, which yes. he is our special guest tonight. But first, um, let's take a look at some of the images that we shot while we were at Yes, there. absolutely. So uh, obviously we couldn't show them to you before because <laughs> the product was under embargo, uh, embargo but uh, with the new features that it has, things like high resolution, yeah. uh, handheld high res, and when you're taking things on hikes, the weight is such yeah. a thing. I mean, we wanted to take as little weight as possible. We did. Um, and so we got to use the cameras all day. It was amazing, but we couldn't really show any images. We couldn't, no. Um, and so let's have a look, shall we, at a couple of images. What have you got for us, Gav? <laughs> ah, here so we tell go. us about this hotel. So it's uh, a very famous this hotel. Is, this is the hotel at the top of Mount Pilatus. Yeah, um, and you can obviously stay there overnight. It's a hotel. Of course we do. It's amazing. It is incredible. The views in the morning and at night. We saw the stars. It was beautiful, um, and it means that when you're up early in the morning or yeah. for sunset. Only the people in the hotel are up there. Yeah. Because the uh, funicular train stops running. They send them back down at yeah. what, five o'clock. Yeah, I think the last sort of one, once it gets dark in the winter, exactly. it's it's fairly early, isn't it? So, But it's quite deserted at it night, is, isn't it? It's, yes. it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and this film, this was actually used in the James Bond film, I do <gasps> believe. I think it was. Yeah. I don't uh, remember which one. It was. Um, and obviously it's had some new bits and pieces added on. But it is an incredible place to go. You have this yeah. incredible 360 degree view of uh, the whole of Lake Lucerne. Yeah. And yeah, just being up there, you have a little bit more tough time breathing, don't you? The altitude definitely got us a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't sleep and things like that. Now when Claire says we couldn't sleep... <laughs> Let me just let me tell you all just a little side story from this 
Um, Claire and I shared a room. So uh, we, we've lived together before. We, we have a lot of time together. We're like, yeah, let's share a room. Uh, it would be great fun. And uh, there's a couple of reasons why you don't sleep that high up in the mountains. One is the altitude that definitely affects your sleep. And actually, um, I was talking to our lovely ambassador, Julia, the next day. And she said, yeah, she always struggles at altitude as well. Yeah. And two, if you stay with Claire Harvey May, is that she snores don't like it. a sailor. Don't believe it. I am it. not joking. I was awake. She's going to say it was because of the altitude. I'm going to say it was because of her snoring. <laughs> and I was I put a pillow over my head. I had earplugs in. I even took earplugs. It wasn't enough. And it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. It wasn't. <laughs> so the next morning when we got up for sunrise uh, to go and shoot our wonderful mm. intro video intro to video. the M5, we were, we were a bit, a bit little, tired. Little worse Claire was a little wear. more tired than I was, of course. <laughs> Um, but you know how bubbly and, and, and sort of, you know, sort of Breezy. vivacious we are. Yeah. All sort of, no, the first video, we looked back and we were like, mm, don't really think we should use that we video. Did. We did. We hiked up to the, the higher point um, so that we could shoot from right at the top. And the yeah. sunrise was beautiful. Um, you could see lightning in the distance. It was really amazing. atmospheric. Um, and Claire and I were a little broken. <laughs> And uh, after a, a good, you know, couple of hours shooting and mm. um, getting some beautiful images, Julia shot some incredible stuff. And the you. light, because oh. the sun was coming up. And the layers that mm -mm. you could see in the mountains. It was beautiful. It was absolutely fantastic. And then we went and, and had some breakfast and watched the footage back and were like... Claire and I like, morning. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously that's not the way to do a launch video. So we so had to we reshoot it. So we shot it again. <laughs> up, no, down we went. We went down into the mountains. We did. And, it was fun. Uh, take two. That was the one. Exactly. That see? was the one we that's found. we should just... We found the rock. Go live we found every the time rock. like this right now. Oh, I love it. It was so much fun though, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Let's take a look at the second image. Now, we're going to argue about who took these photos, We don't photos, know who took we? these photos. No. Claire and I took them, yeah. but we don't know who took which. Yeah. Um, so we will, there will be some heated discussion as so well. So I would, what? yeah, I, I would, would say, say you shot this one. I think I shot this. Yeah, you shot I'll, this one. I'll take ownership for that one, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I think I, was it high res mode? I do not believe so. I, okay. think, I think the next one I shot, Claire, was high res mode. I think the next one I shot. Sure. Um, high res mode in the OM5 is brilliant because you can hand hold it. So when you're up in the mountains and you want to get really good depth yeah. to your images and really good quality and edge to edge sharpness, good contrast, good colour, uh, high res mode is absolutely brilliant because you can hand hold and you get these uh, 50 megapixel images which are incredible to print or to view, whatever. And most of the time, because the landscape is so beautiful yeah. uh, I took most of my stuff on handheld high-res uh, but is this when we walked around the back and through the little yes, alleyways so like through a little cave yeah. around the side of the mountain and this was just peeking out and the light was beautiful the lake looked fantastic yeah. um, and there's some nice contrast in there with the, the shadows and a the little light. bit of cloud as well there exactly, so yeah it was, it was really beautiful up there yeah I mean and it's the first time I've been on top of a mountain and taking pictures so it, and it definitely won't be the last because you get that bug don't you yeah. for wanting to see this type of landscape and this was actually smack bang in the middle of the day this was yeah. like lunchtime that we got up there by the yeah. time we'd flown in driven down and got the funicular up it was yeah it was about lunchtime so the light was quite harsh so it's nice having that contrast mm. with, the, with the shadows on the cliffs um, and the detail, yeah. yeah. Fantastic so if anybody's got any questions about the high-res mode, uh, the handheld high-res mode, or even the tripod version, or if any of you have used it, let us know how you're getting on with it. Um, because as I said, with our computational uh, genre uh, within our OM1, and, oh, we have a question. It's a question. Sam. It's not really a question. Okay. It's not a question. Um, Steve has said that the uh, Swiss Alpine Mountain Bike Club is one of the best mountain bike clubs. Ah, well thanks, done, Steve. Steve. Thank you. Well done, Steve. A Bond, Bond It's really movie. beautiful. If, if you've not been to Switzerland, yeah. I'd never been. You've never been before. No, never been to Switzerland. Uh, absolutely beautiful place. And yeah. we were really Save lucky. Up. Yeah. Save up. <laughs> we were really lucky to have Julia, um, one of our own system ambassadors, yeah. join us and show us around. Yeah. Um, and she, you know, taught us about the mountains and also took us around Zurich the next day yes. before we went home. Exactly. And she sleeps on the mountains alone. She does. I mean, yeah. she is hardcore. She is next uh, level adventurer. So Anita says, love the high res mode. Brilliant, Anita. Um, if you do landscape photography, and as I said, you know, we're all about the outdoor adventure, it's definitely worth yeah. trying high res mode because you really do get incredible contrast and colour yeah. and so on. Sam, question. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Um, this is from 
If you take a high res image, can you still get the normal image from the group of images? Uh, no. You get the uh, one image. No, the, the high res image is the high res yep. image. So um, you can shoot a JPEG and a RAW so you get a slightly smaller version of it. Um, if you wanted the two together, um, but generally with the high res mode, it is a 50 megapixel image. So they do take a little bit more to load up, but nothing yeah. major. Sam? Another one. Oh, we've got another oh, one. hello. How, How do, do you process? process? Ooh. That is very, very interesting because when we had the Owen 5, of course, no software would read it because yes. it was brand new. So it wasn't out there for us to have a play with. Um, so uh, honestly, um, most of my images haven't actually been processed. They are as they are. Yeah. Um, so, but now obviously it, you can process your images in Lightroom and in workspace, workspace, uh, oh, in workspace. So there are options out there, and you would just process them as you would. But yeah. generally, because there is that extra contrast and their extra and the extra I don't detail, find they need much doing to them. I really all. don't. No. If you use your live view uh, viewfinder or screen to get your um, composition and your exposure right, you should be yeah. pretty much spot on but what's interesting if you take a, a jpeg and a raw and against the high res and then compare them the detail is, is quite cool incredible yeah. yeah yeah now coming on to high res clear this Ooh, next one that it's I my shot. image no it's my image, no, it's my image. <laughs> everyone out there it's great i image. definitely shot this image i have a, tell us who you think shot this image <laughs> tell us if you comments. just say claire is, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're is cheating it claire with an eye or clear it out the eye. eye. So this is so the light was stunning. Do you know what, Claire? I saw this light <laughs> coming across the mountain, and I thought that is a that is a high res shot right there. So yeah. I put my OM5 into high res mode. <laughs> You were busy sitting on a mountain over over the other side. There's an image to show that. The light is incredible. At but look at the all detail. Time. Look yeah. at the you know. Yeah. Whoever shot it, Claire. Yeah. The detail is is fantastic, and that shows you know what you can get with high res and the light was dipping you yeah. know so we did push the iso and yeah. we did challenge it a bit and yeah and it's quite difficult to photograph landscape when you've got that incredible light coming in from the left yeah. shadow from the right but also you've got quite a contrasty sky in front of you yes. as well so your exposure can be a little bit all over the place and so but again with the high res mode it does deal with that um really really well so yeah. um as i said i know we're talking a lot about high res mode but i am loving it it is a great feature. I'm loving Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Beautiful. Claire's on the fence. Look at her just saying beautiful. She's uh, not pick. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Claire's not picking either way. <laughs> <laughs> Claire's not. So I'm not getting into that argument. Oh, Claire, okay. Let's have a look at another one of our images. Okay. I think, this I might think that's be probably the last fair. One? Yeah. <laughs> one of our images. Um, so, yes. Now. Now, this is definitely not mine. I know I shot this one because you were round the other side. Having eating, a sleep. Eating a bowl of chips. And <laughs> And drinking a Coke. Gavin's nodding because Gavin knows exactly what... 10 euros for a bag of chips. Um, so, I've not stopped that. So, so, um, I wasn't here. We wanted this, uh, this beautiful shot of Julia looking out over the mountains. Um, so Gavin, Julia and I ran around um, and got this shot. This wasn't high res. This was um, straight out of camera. Beautiful. Um, I love that Julia wears her yellow coat. It's always, you know, really got stands that out. Yeah. Yeah. It pops and it's, you know, the colour fantastic. The the production from the camera is just Well, and most people, well. when you sort of do this sort of shot, you're either in camouflage or grey yeah. or black. We're all guilty of wearing the darker colours we all are. of the time. Yes. And actually to be but to wear, a, I mean, A, it's sensible because yeah. if you're in the mountain and you do happen to take a fall or whatever, having a bright yes. coat makes you easy to spot. But in the photographs, <laughs> it is amazing. It makes such a difference. Um, there is quite a special yellow, yes, Julia tells Julia us. Has a, a very Can't just go for any yellow. yellow. I do now want a yellow jacket as well after. We'll see what Father Seen. Christmas brings you. Yes, that's true. Um, that's true. Uh, so, yeah. so um, yes, and, and again, this shows how the lightweight kit, just being yeah. able to, to pick it up, run around the corner and get this shot, you know, before we headed back down mm. the mountain. Um, and we shot quite a few images here. 
and Julia took some beautiful ones as well. So if you don't follow follow Julia on Instagram, uh, then do head over and give her a follow because her images are fantastic. Yes, they are. So I think that was our, the last of our images. That was it. Uh, you know, we've done enough chat. We've You're not here to see us, are you? They You're are. Not here. They, they are. You, do you think? Well, no. No. Uh, not, well, if it was, you know, if it's any other guest, but we've got if a special guest. If it was 10 people watching, they'd be here for us. <laughs> Claire Williams, you're here for us. Yeah, maybe. exactly. But <laughs> we know you're here to see our lovely, fantastic special ambassador. Um, let's waste no more time. Let's get Gavin Hoey on. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at this video that Gavin shot. <laughs> off <laughs> we nice were just here. saying in the in the interim whilst you're watching that beautiful video um that we haven't had gavin on the sofa for since christmas last yeah, year it can't be he's always over there yes with his and headphones on waving frantically at us <laughs> yeah so i'm normally behind i quite like being behind the camera actually <gasps> no, it's, i've got used like to it now i know so. i mean you've been producing for us for like nearly three years now it's, a, oh, it's, it's so long. since before, yeah. before BC, before mm. COVID, BC, yeah. um, you've actually been doing all the production for us on the on the back end, and yeah. we what dragged would we you do in, without you. I know we dragged you and Sam to Sweden and to Switzerland. It was brilliant, wasn't it? That was <laughs> so much fun, considering the the time period you gave us to to plan. What are you talking about? I gave you <laughs> a week, maybe maybe two weeks. I said, Gav, we're going to Switzerland. And then oh. all of a sudden, we had, to, we had to get Sam a passport. Yes, Sam didn't have a passport. <laughs> we turned around a passport in two weeks, planned a trip and executed a trip fantastically. I mean, that video was brilliant. So, Gav, I mean, obviously, this is the sort of, not the first time you've done something like this, but I mean, for OM Systems and yeah. the launch and on location, how, how do you sort of go around getting your head around that and doing it? Well, it was it, because we've done a lot of filming in a lot of different ways. I mean, I'm in front of the camera for, for my work. Yeah, studio-based. Studio-based uh, portraits. <laughs> I'm behind the camera a lot more than anybody realises yeah. because yeah. I, we do a lot of filming for various people. But to actually go and take the entire thing away from the comfort of being, you know, within a short drive of yeah. the studio. Yeah. If you leave anything <laughs> behind, you can nip back and get it, yeah. that kind of thing. Uh, it, it's, it was quite an interesting experience. So when Claire said we're going up a mountain in Switzerland, <laughs> I'll be honest. what did you first think? Oh, lordy, lordy. <laughs> you should have seen the email trails. I, I was going to say, I didn't Is there Wi-Fi? It wasn't going to happen. It's like, I think how yeah. much hiking, and Julia, bless her, she sent us a whole load of places, didn't she, that was like, this is a three-hour hike, this is a two-hour hike, this is a one-hour hike. And we were like... Which one gets the trainer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I didn't get any of that. That was all you sorting oh, that good. out. Oh, good, I didn't show you, know, you that. No, you just said, we're going to, to, to Switzerland, and I, I didn't, didn't believe it. It was like, never going to happen. Uh, oh, oh, Colin thinking, says, brilliant video. You'd never get me balancing on a wall like that. Yeah. We'll, there was we'll, a lot of balancing. We'll talk about that as we go along. A lot of balancing. But um, yeah, I just getting there was, I haven't been out of the country, so... Uh, <laughs> Who's filming me? Ah, oh, Sam. Oh, Sam. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. So that's yeah, next time we Sam. need to get someone filming Sam. Yes. Just be a trail of okay. people. Filming, and then you want to know who's filming Sam. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Just get some mirrors. Yeah. Um, but yes. So yeah, I mean, just leaving the country was was incredible. <laughs> I haven't left the country since 2019. Wow. We had a nice early flight together. 
Oh my God, why that did you book good. such an early flyer? <laughs> Claire loves the uh, red I eye. Love, I love loves it. the red eye. There was a, a borderline moment where Gav and Sam had made it through and Claire, like, it's another fine. story that I'd forgotten we'll about. We'll be fine. Claire and I um, were cutting it fine, very no. fine to get through bag drop and security. <laughs> See, I don't stress about these things. We've frozen. Uh, I don't know. We're fine. Uh, I don't stress about these things because I travel a lot and I'm like, yeah, we'll be fine. Were we fine? I like to we be were fine. at the airport. Four hours, hours the day before. <laughs> Gavin was there that early. I'd like He yeah. had breakfast, he had a lovely day. We ran in, got a coffee, got to the plane. Yeah, we were there, I think, at half past four in the See? morning, five o'clock in the morning. Madness. Uh, and the place was packed. Yeah, I know. It's like I'd forgotten what it's like to travel, to be honest. Yes, so, uh, exactly. so once we got over that, <laughs> it was all right. Then you two, well, you hired a car and, and off we went. We drove to, the car. Co such a good adventure. It was fun, it was it's fun. Into the Alps, yeah, it was. So amazing. when you, um, obviously, Use the OM one. Yes. Um, but when you get like the video brief, what, what's your sort of pl how do you then sort of move forward with that? Do you sort of look at the outline and think, okay, this is what they're expecting? How do you sort of process a brief? So the brief for this one was filming you two and Julia, and uh, at, at sunrise. That's right. that was the brief. <laughs> yeah. If you notice, we did film at sunrise. So yeah. the first thing is, well, how are we going to get there? Because you can't just press record at sunrise. That's not how it works. We mm -hmm. had to get there way in advance of sunrise. Yep. Yes. So there's the logistics dark. of getting up a side of a mountain in total darkness um, and filming in total darkness. Yes. Which was a bit of a challenge. Yes. I hadn't quite prepared enough for that. <laughs> and, Gavin, uh, I got us up the mountain. You did. So, you know, the rest was... Did you? Well, the train did. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I thought you meant, I mean, uh, sort of the, 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 the first bit. I mean, oh, no, no we, we I did. mean, uh, the actual Gavin walk definitely... to the Hang filming spot. Should, yeah. I stayed with Sam back for a bit because I wasn't feeling so good. Oh, yeah, this is the train. We should, we should Let's have a look. Show, show the train. Second. Let's have a look. Let's... Show the uh, fun funicular. So it's all about the adventure. And um, this funicular was... I was a, amazing. amazing. And it went on and on. And on. I and mean, on. it was a 45 minute 45 minutes, um, yeah. to go from the bottom of a little town where we parked the car, because obviously there aren't any cars up there, yeah. um, to the to the top. And it took quite a while, didn't it? I mean, look at some of those zigzag paths in the background where and people, people walk up there. We, we cheated and took the train. Mm -hmm. We did do some hiking while we were there. But, um, you know, you to get all the, you know, your overnight bags and things yeah. like that, we, we did take the train. And this is what the train looks like. Some of the carriages are really old. They are. And some and quite a wooden creaky. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the new modern ones, which they obviously yeah. change. I think we had an old one, didn't we? we definitely yeah. Had an old one. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but if you've never been, it is just the funicular alone is uh, fantastic to, yeah. to go on. Yeah, it was it was great. So um, so we had to. That's what we had to bring all the kit up. Everything that we needed for the entire adventure yeah. had to fit in the suitcase. We didn't go down that way. If anyone's wondering, <laughs> we, we, we didn't take that route down. No, the suitcases wouldn't have fit. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, I mean, once he told me it was what was going to happen, it was a matter of, well, what kit are we going to bring? How yeah. are we going to make yeah. it happen? Yeah. And then the, the logistics, what do we actually need to uh, capture um, during the session? Oh, we got a question. Sam? Yes. Uh, did you film using one of the slow motion modes and what lenses did you use? Ah. Was it an IS lens like the 12100? Should we, should we that skip leads to us my on camera? To yeah, what okay. What is in Gavin's yeah. bag? So, Gav, talk us about... All right. Yes, so okay. you took the OM-1. I took the OM-1. First of all, the OM-1 was always going to be my camera of choice yep. for filming because of all of the OM range, it's, it's by far the best video right. camera. So it's 4K 60p. And that was the winning factor. Yes. So that's the main thing. I've been filming in 4K since, I don't know, when did the 4K, the EM1 um, uh, EM EM Mark II was the yep. first one with 4K. Yep. Yep. So I've been 4K for years and years. Now we're 4K 60 that's you know, like once you've got change. it. So tell people why that makes a difference. Okay, so in answer to the question, um, it's simply because we can slow the footage down. Right. So we're uploading in full 1080p rather than 4K, so I can also crop and pan and zoom the footage around. Right. That's such a big game changer. When you yeah. figure that out, it's like, wow, that is superb. So we had that before, and now we can slow it down to half speed. We're filming at 60 frames a second, slowing it down to 30 frames a second. 
there are movements and, and, and motion and they always look smoother if you slow them down. It right. looks more cinematic. Everything yeah, I love it. Mm. It's yeah. better in slow motion. Yeah, so it's like getting a raw image and, and being able to crop it and do all sorts of stuff with it. But it, the same with in video, isn't it? Although the files are much, much bigger. But yeah. to get that beautiful... <laughs> tiny, tiny let's not bit talk bigger. about how many, how many gigs of footage. <laughs> well, we but to that. get but, uh, that, um, yeah. that amount of footage and that, you know, like you say, yeah. shooting in 4K 60p is... Uh, helpful for the edit. So, so it is. So this is it. So this, this is my. This is all of my kit. Everything. Well, it's not everything, but this is. This was my carry-on bag because you booked us. I mean, it wasn't a private jet, was it? It, it was. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's the opposite of I a think, private uh, jet? Easy jet. It was e <laughs> easy jet. <laughs> Other plane lines, ever airlines are available. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So the Terms and conditions apply. bag restriction is quite tight and I do not want my bag checked. I don't want to be that guy where they're going, oh, we've run out of locker space, oh, so yeah. we'll put yours in the hold because this has got everything I need. So everything that I needed for the shoot was in here. We had some bigger stuff in the suitcase. But and then Sam bought the sweets. Sam, Sam bought the sweets. Yeah. The I sweets. bought sweets. We so, didn't eat. Oh. so show us what's in there. Laptop. Laptop. Absolutely yep. essential. Can't go anywhere without a laptop, of and, course. Yep. Uh, camera. So my camera is the uh, the... I mean, one, and I really only took one lens. Yeah. I know. Live dangerously. I took Why? a 12 to 40 millimeter f2.8. So that's my go to portrait lens, yeah. but also my go to video lens. It is a great lens. The 12 millimeter end is perfect. Yeah. Right, okay. I did most of the stuff with the 12 mil end and then zoomed in for a little bit more close ups with the 40 mil end. f2.8, I mean, I wish I'd have taken <laughs> some primes. <laughs> so, next time, uh, yeah, next time. I think at one point, <laughs> we, we started at the, the beginning of the session. I was like, I'm not sure I've got a video footage right at the very beginning. Oh, dear. Um, oh, dear. How fun is that? <laughs> let's, let's see what we got here. Oh, so, here we go. Oh, here we go. Good. Yeah. Right, OK. So th is this the... This is a little bit later on. OK. But before we got to this stage, it was oh, I mean, absolute pitch black. Couldn't yeah. see a thing. And Sun's up a bit now. I, uh, I was wide open f2.8. I was looking at my ISO, and I can't remember what the maximum is. It twelve thousand something other ISO on the own one yeah. twenty five. But of course, you that's quite top yeah. end. It was at that. <laughs> <laughs> was like, I've never seen an ISO <laughs> that high. Oh, no. We were filming in the dark, so <laughs> the only light we had was my head torch. Yes. So, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And there was a thunderstorm in the background. We had some beautiful footage of the lightning and the thunderstorm. Uh, so this was actually this is lovely. This was quite nice. This, this is when the sun's yeah. coming up. Yeah. yeah. And I honestly didn't think I was filming away, thinking, well, I am wasting my time because this is going to be unusable. Yeah. And we used it. It was brilliant. It's yeah. really good. The ISO, uh, the, the 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 new processor, the set new sensor, and everything on the own one has made those changes incredible, haven't they? Yeah. The, the better ISOs and um, for you, Gav, sort of filming with the higher ISOs is so much better. It yeah. is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. Particularly, so there's another little tip as well. If you're filming in 4K and then you downsample to 1080p, right. you're downsampling, you're losing some of the detail, and the mm -hmm. detail at high ISO is often noise. Right. It looks so much cleaner. Uh, okay. So <laughs> just, just film at 4K, Good downsample, yeah. uh, that's, that's the way to go. Uh, okay, Marcus says, Gavin... Uh, has such a cool attitude towards photography and He's teaching. all right, isn't he, that Gavin? And he's also got a great name, Marcus, Marcus Prime. Prime. Oh, Prime. It's like Optima, <gasps> Octo, Optimus Prime, that um, yeah. but also Prime Lenses. <gasps> so, you know. I like it. Thanks, favourite. Thank, Thank you. you That's very nice. Very kind. We agree. So, we agree. Um, absolutely essential camera and a lens. Had I not been going with you guys, I would have taken a second body and a second lens for backup reasons but I can't I was with them they had cameras and lenses we did I knew that if I did <laughs> drop this off the side of a mountain I could <laughs> steal there'd one be of another yours. OM1 I mean, somewhere we'd shout at him a little bit we'd go oh Gav and then we'd yeah give you there'd be so, another yeah. OM1 somewhere <laughs> yeah so, so camera that's camera lens obviously most important bit uh, what's the next what do I bang on about after the audio, audio. <laughs> Oh, because, yeah. as Gavin says to us many times, the, there's only 50, well, 70 percent is audio. Because if the audio is rubbish, you will not yes. watch anything. That's very so true. So it's all about the audio. Yeah, it is all about the audio. So audio. So if you're filming the the onboard audio, you know, if you're doing selfies, if you've got the old footy yeah. screen, and it has got better. It's it's all right. Yeah. yeah. The, the processor inside is a little better. Hang on a minute. At that, that distance, it. that's it. It's yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's okay, but for better audio, there are better options. Yes. There's a question coming. I actually Ooh, get a feeling of a question coming. Can you get stills from the video? Yeah, that is a brilliant question, Michael. So, yes, you can. Uh, you can't 
from the camera, um, at least I don't think you can. No, you can't no. take a still halfway no. through a video. No. But no. you definitely can. So if you're filming in 4K 60 or just 4K generally, the quality of a, uh, a screen grabber, a 4K is, I can't remember, a couple of thousand pixels yeah. by yes. a couple of thousand pixels. It's, and it, the sharpness it. is as yeah. good as a still in many instances. Yeah. You've got to remember your shutter speed is not necessarily the fastest because you we'll, we'll talk about camera settings later, yeah. but <clears throat> I've pulled a still image off many a video, yeah. many, many times. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, where was it? Oh, audio. 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 <laughs> Don't forget one of the most important things, guys. This is the most important thing. So uh, I've got headphones. I always take headphones so I can monitor the audio. Yes. And why do you take the headphones so you don't hear any background noise? You can't, <laughs> he, he can't hear you. Gavin! Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're noise cancelling headphones. So, ah, they are so basically, if you've got any noise going on around you, you can headphones in, you can only hear what the speaker is. Like we've got our little mics on now. So when you were chattering away. He just didn't want to hear me talk. Basically, or okay. vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That. You've, got, that you've, got, you've got to monitor okay. the audio. Oh, yeah. Oh, stick more good questions. Put questions. them up. Yeah. Did okay. you have a tripod in your bag, Gavin? Oh, should we answer that? Gavin, one? where's the tripod? Okay, we'll come back to what's in my bag and go. So it, it wouldn't fit in my carry on. And I'm, I wasn't sure. I did a lot of research about whether things like tripods would be taken away from you at, at, at customs and, and security checks. I kind of figured it would. I think it would. I mean, it would. It's my yeah. luck, isn't it? It's like, yeah. you know. So I did bring a tripod. I bought this little guy. Very so light. The lightest possible tripod I could get my hands yeah. on. So this is, actually, it's a man A bee photo. free. A bee free. Uh, is it a carbon fiber? It is a carbon fiber tripod. Super lightweight. But super, but super quick to put up as well. Yeah. And, and actually, for a small tripod, really tall. Yeah. Because I've got a little tripod, a table tripod, but it only goes to that height, yeah. fully extended. So oh, this is I'm going to go, yeah, go close. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's see if we can get there. We go. That is the thinnest tripod leg I have ever seen. Mm. <laughs> it's so thin. Mm. It's, it's incredibly thin. Uh, it actually worked really well. And that, I didn't think I was going to need it, but we, we totally needed that. That yeah. was wonderful. So the, the main bit of the video with you talking was you were sat on a rock. Yeah. And I can't hold a camera still for we 20 talk minutes. A lot. Well, oh, and we but do don't forget there's lots of. There's a lot of takes, a lot of B-roll, yeah. then we might change something we've said or say, oh, we'll say it this way. So you can actually be filming for a good hour. Yeah. So there's no way you can hold the camera yeah, for an hour. Start to just shake well, it. and yeah. even yeah. with, no matter how good image stabilisation is, it's tiring. So at least Ooh. then you can leave a camera. Steve said, Steve, right. you've, you've, jumped, you've jumped the gun, Steve. Are, you've That's jumped so the gun. Good. Let's talk. Let's go straight into it while we're in a minute. I, I will go find a bit of footage. Find oh, the gimbal. There we go. Hang on a second. Okay. Oh, there oh, he is. Oh, 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 There's Gavin. Oh, oh. Now, generally, for a couple of when you only doing a couple of seconds, you don't need a gimbal. No. Um, but there are instances for professional videographers that you do need a gimbal. And Gav, are you going I'm, to show it? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> Hold on. Um, here, here we, we go. go. Talk us through it, Gav. Okay, I think I'm only on this for about two, two seconds. But down the bottom, there I am holding a gimbal. Oh, there I am. And there, there you are. It's my new wearing, yellow coat. Wearing Julia's coat. I was modelling. <laughs> so talk us why you'd need a gimbal. So a, a gimbal is, is really, it's not an essential item. Uh, in fact, we did a video for you guys that we can't talk about that hasn't come out yet. Um, <laughs> it's a good video. Is, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Uh, where uh, Sam did all the filming because I was in front of the camera and didn't use a gimbal the entire time. Edited the footage and it's, it's beautifully smooth. That's you. Oh yeah, it's Claire Harvey mate. I'm climbing up a mountain. Yeah. Um, so but we did have a gimbal. So we had this. This yes. is the this is the gimbal that I took. Um, a gimbal it gives a, a slightly more fluid feel. And although we have got the five-axis image stabilisation built into the camera, this has a slightly bigger swing, should we say? So if your movements are quite like I don't know, like you're hanging on to a, the side of a mountain. Because we were literally Gavin's hanging on to a mountain. were quite, you know. But also, you, 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 we were climbing rocks. I mean, it's yeah. not like you're walking on a flat, even surface. No. We're up a mountain. You were walking backwards a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, which, and so you can't really be looking at your footing and where you're going. And it's not like we have a production of 20 people no. where they can all be sort of guiding you backwards. You know, Gav's on his own, Claire and I at the front, and, and it is one of those things. So tell us about the gimbal. I mean, that does look amazing. So the gimbal is, is basically um, a, a stability platform. So it has uh, three axes of, of keeping things still, and you can program it to sort of move with you or stay completely still like that there we go 
I can twist it. So in other words, if I'm, I'm moving around, the camera isn't. But what it doesn't have is up and down stabilisation. OK. Mm -hmm. Do you know what does have up and down stabilisation? Camera. Oh, Bingo! Right. Woohoo! Yeah. We got one right! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a video system right! Yes! Woohoo! So, the two in combination actually work together really well. So okay. this has extreme yeah. um, angles that you can get to and, and it just stays still, but it has nothing up and down okay. apart from the, the IBIS. So in-body in image stabilization and the gimbal make a great combination. But I also ended up using an awful lot in what they call briefcase mode, uh, which is basically... Going anymore. backwards. Basically going back, especially, yes, there's a lot of, lot of walking and talking like this, which yeah. is very hard to do if you're trying to walk down a, yep. a path and film. But and with you the gimbal, did a lot of that in a... Sweden as well with Rania and uh, Penilla when they were talking. Yeah. They yeah. Were Walking, walking backwards, backwards whilst Indeed. they were walking towards you. And that was quite an uneven forest as well, so that came in handy for that. So, so Bill yeah. says, do you keep the camera image stabilisation on when using the gimbal? I did indeed, Bill. So I kept the image stabilisation on, but it's only the uh, sensor movement only. There's no digital stabilisation. Yeah. So um, that, that's kind of how I run whenever I'm doing this, uh, the uh, in-body image stabilisation, which is brilliant, and then the gimbal if I need a lot more stabilization or you want to do this sort of there's nice sort of panning shots where you want to come and sort of pan across something yeah there, there's all sorts of ways that this just gives you a little bit more uh, cinematic yeah. movement yeah it's just that feeling isn't it because even when you try and we've done it ourselves oh we? yeah we when like, we do sort of yeah. shots and we've got the camera yeah. and we try and go past but you will be moving you, will. It. you yeah. haven't got that smooth intent that you a, a gimbal has beautiful um shots of product like we'd be shooting and mm, you'd be coming mm. around the front of us with it yeah. where you couldn't come and stand right in front of us but you, you managed to you know maneuver around yeah yeah and i think that is as i said you know i was thinking oh you know we yeah. don't need a gimbal with image stable there you go oh, um no, but actually oh, that's um, hang on they can't see it yet Claire. there we go ah, there you go oh <laughs> so yes so, so when you come in shot on, a, on the the gimbal and it has when I start, it has that nice, almost like a, almost like a drone-ish feel. It has yes. that, that real stability. Yeah. And you can, I can literally, there are times when I'm holding it way above my head. Yeah, uh, yeah. Until you whack it, obviously, with your elbow. And then it's, uh, <laughs> and there, is no, there is no saving those. But so this is with image stabilisation turned on in the camera yeah. and also the gimbal. It doesn't play as smoothly over the internet because it's a 4K file that's right. trying to yeah. size yeah. down and squeeze <laughs> through uh, our little streaming system but there's here. a lot of this footage in the launch video that's on youtube so be sure to take a look um you shot both the switzerland video and the sweden video okay as well, so. Mm -hmm. so let's go back to the bag what else is in the bag because we were talking cameras we've talked cameras we've talked gimbals we didn't, we, yeah. we've talked tripods we've let's go back to the audio because it's audio. so important we've skipped okay. past it and it's we did. The important most important thing I know so important if you've got Your any audio questions. questions get them in because the, questions the audio yes. bit is so crucial Okay, so first thing of all, I actually uh, recorded my audio recorder because we were traveling super light was the, uh, the OM-1. So I recorded internally yep. because the OM-1 has 24-bit audio, yep. which, ah, oh, wow, yep. that's, that's a kind of a new thing. We didn't have that before. 24-bit yep. yep. audio, is it like um, a, a JPEG versus a RAW? Yeah. The more bits you have in your audio, the more you can recover it um let's say you've just climbed down the mountain and you're all huffing and puffing yeah. and you, you haven't quite got the audio levels spot on <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you're talking about we fit as a fiddle so, so and yeah. then this this is three uh, no this is two this is a microphone system for two people so i had to tie it's tiny so these are the the microphones we use for for this sort of work which is the little road go to system fully compatible with all of the om stuff tiny little things we use little external lavaliers you might be able to see one on them yeah right there. we forgot them yep and a big sort of wind fluffy thing on the end of each one because we were outside yep and that's it and it's simple as that the lovely thing about the om1 is it has a headphone out jack so i could yep. monitor the audio with my headphones adjust what i needed to adjust and uh, and get it right but and you can hear all three of us through ah. that Right, so, so I'm going to sort of go a little, not technical, no. but Gavin loves the technical. Gavin loves, the technical. loves the technical. So you can imagine three of us with three microphones. How do you hear all three of us on one set of headphones? It's actually really hard. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's Especially two. if we're all talking at the same time, oh, it's not which we, we do, do a lot. lot. I mean... <laughs> there you go. Poor Gav. He has to put up with the call all the time. So, so uh, mini mixer. 
Okay. So this was my little mini mix, uh, um, this little guy right here. Yeah. Uh, it is, it's tiny. Hang on a minute. I mean, uh, we'll, is, we'll bring it close. It's hang very on, cute on. as well, isn't it? I can do this. Don't trip over the gimbal. Yeah, I can't, oh, I can't see. I've got to. Right, hang on a minute. Round. Ooh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ooh, that was wobbly. <laughs> We're live. Is it going to focus? It's coming. It's coming. Here we it's go. Coming. There we go. He's got it. There we go. There, there we go. Is. There it is. So this is a little uh, miniature mixer. Uh, it has uh, two inputs on here. And each of those Rode Go systems takes two microphones. So in theory, four people. And then I can mix uh, individual channels like that. So that's, that's kind of how I did it. Um, there are different ways you can do it as well. So if you don't want to take a mini mixer, the other way is to separate it out onto separate channels. So if you've got two people, you put one person on the left channel, one person on the right channel. It's awful to monitor. <laughs> it's like Claire in one ear. The other in the other other oh my god! That's a imagine? Claire sandwich. I mean, oh, a Claire all Claire Claire sandwich. Ear. Let me mix it together. Even again. I feel bad for him. To so be that's fair. actually how we did it. We got a question. Yeah, go for it. Let's see. Okay, Bill, Bill. Do those mics connect to the camera or are they off camera? Oh, it's uh, they are. Good question, Bill. Both. Yeah. And that, that's kind of why I chose this particular system because it connects via the uh, the mic in jack to the OM1, mm -hmm. but also they record their own in the body pack so yeah. they, they have a recording that is a backup recording on the body pack so you've got them on today we have we do they are recording you now they are. have been ever since they've been turned on oh just dear. to warn you i've got yeah. full <laughs> amount full of footage <laughs> the, the stories gavin oh. could tell why claire so and i many so we're off camera let me tell you <laughs> one day we'll do a bleep of a blooper video uh, so uh, sadly, it only does about seven hours. So if you keep talking, <laughs> oh, it'll kind of. Let's just keep chatting. Away. So they they have an internal recording, and I have an external. So effectively, I have a backup uh, that if I mm. lose wireless connection, that I can uh, recover it later. Sam, we've got another question. Uh, Marcus, how focused is the audio recording? Can I narrow in on one person in a small crowd? Oh, that's a really good question. You need Ben for this we one. Yeah. So uh, Ben, our oh, audio ben. guy, would be uh, thrilled to answer that one. So if you've got really good audio questions. Um, Bends your man, but uh, the short answer is no. Okay, so we are not secret service spies that no. mm. can do Hollywood magic. And to do that, if you ever watched um, Country File and yes. um, Spring Watch, Love and, a bit of yeah. Spring Watch occasionally on Spring Watch, they have a guy who records bird song. Yes, and he walks around like a satellite dish. Yeah, a little. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. It's got um, a little. Uh, I can't remember what they call them, but yes, you're right. A little satellite dish. So it's a parabolic dish. That's it. There we go. And that's what that is. So if you want to pick out someone from a crowd or a bird up in the trees, you need a parabolic dish which will focus the incoming sound. Um, just like your, your satellite dish does. Yeah. But all of the microphones, whether it's the on-camera microphones or whether it's the little lavaliers, uh, are what's known as omnidirectional. They will, they will take quite a wide mm. field and they're very forgiving, mm. which is why our microphones are, I mean, never more than that far away. That, mm. That's the rule. Finger width apart. Is that's... that why you walk up to us all the time? <laughs> I suppose um, when you've got the LSP5 though, if you're using the LSP5, you can narrow and widen the so, beam on that a little bit more, can't you? So you've that, got a bit more range. Yeah, that has it a really good ability to cut out side sounds, mm. yeah. but it won't sort of zoom in on the sound. Mm. So those are great if you have... Um, so if we'd have been doing a city centre, if we'd have taken the OM5, yeah out to the middle of Stockholm or, yeah. or wherever, and you wanted to cut out the city noise, we could have done that. We could have had a couple yeah. of little LSP5s just out of shot. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That would have probably been better than these. Right. But it's a tool for a job. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And there are so many options out there now, mm -hmm. aren't there, yeah. um, for audio, because video and audio has become such a big yeah. subject. Even if you're just making stuff for Instagram and doing reels, you know, the audio is so important if it you've is. got something to say. Yeah. All right, okay, so That's next, next um, useful little thing. Uh, every person that does video, and in fact, most photographers have probably got one of these. So that is a, an ND filter. Yeah, very important. Uh, this is a variable ND filter, so I can adjust the, the variable if I put it over here. And so that means you don't have to change your aperture oh. or your shutter speed, right? Exactly, so um, we should touch on camera settings as time's yeah. ticking by. So the general rule of thumb, is shutter speed is the important bit when it comes to video and 
you take your frames per second and double it to get your shutter speed. Yeah. Okay. So 30 frames a second, shutter speed of a 60th. 60th. Yeah. I'm shooting at a 60 60th. frames a second, so I need... 125. So, of course, that makes it a little bit better. Good, well done. I, know, I'm, 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 I can do math, I know everything. Um, but, yeah, I remember that, that rule of thumb. You double up yes. uh, what your frame rate is. So, But if you don't want to change shutter speeds and you literally constant... Because, obviously, changing settings means yep. the camera's going to be moving around and you've mm -hmm. got buttons to think of. It's yeah. actually much easier just to slide. Yeah, you've got a few options. You can uh, close your aperture down. Yeah. So on a sunny day, forget when we were in the morning. I mean, it was too dark. Right. But when we were down at the uh, the rock filming, um, we could either make our, our aperture really small and get everything in focus, which yeah. is what we did. Yeah. Uh, or I could have put this on and blurred out the background by choosing a wider aperture. But you can't put your ISO down any lower than 80 on the yeah. OM1. Yeah. So that's your minimum uh, ISO. You, if you shut your aperture down, you gain more depth of field. So this effectively just overcomes that. Brilliant. And these are super useful, absolutely wonderful. And of course, you can do ND, mix it up with some live ND as well, yeah. and yeah. you've got suddenly a hugely long exposure. So, because right. I, I do photography, I don't do know if you? you've ever known. No, no. you don't take photos <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> oh. Right. Most, Next, two most important bits, other than uh, what we've already covered. Okay. Okay. Um, hard drive. Ah, uh, yes. Backup hard drive. I remember right. this in the boot of the car. <laughs> Yes, every, after every session, session. I've, got to I've, got I've got a backup I've got to upload yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is if you want to know what brand it is it's a no brand hard drive okay actually nice. not sure what's inside it's a hard drive enclosure so there's a solid state drive an SSD yep. inside of here no moving parts Okay. So uh, just in case you drop it on the floor. Don't know then... what you mean, Gav. <laughs> Claire, have you done that recently? I might have done it here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's still in the hospital. Oh no. So and it comes with a. I bought it with a rubber bumper as well. Yeah, just yeah. Because, yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, I, I bought one. I bought one. I bought a brand new one. <laughs> question. Oh, question. There's a question coming. Deborah. 4K would take a large amount of memory card space. What memory card did you use and recommend? Deborah, that is brilliant. Well yeah. done, Deborah. It's like you knew where he was going. <laughs> okay. And this is why, again, the hard drive is there, because yeah. you can put everything on a card onto the drive and almost start again. Is that sort of what you do? Pretty much, yeah. So um, memory has got a lot cheaper over the years. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it really has. And the, I started out with the OM1 Mark II, I think it was, which was the first with the UHS... Two, two. Yeah. which is essential for OM cameras. It speeds them up no end. Yeah. And I think I could just about stretch to a 32 gig. Right. Just. Yeah. <laughs> and then when the Mark III came out, I got 64 gigs. Nice. Yeah. And now the OM1's out. I'm to 128 gigs. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, so the bigger, the better. The, yeah, there's two trains of thoughts. Uh, you, you go with either one large card thinking that you're not going to lose it because you're never going to take it out. Mm -hmm. Or you go with lots of small cards thinking that at some point the card will fail mm. and then you only lose a little bit. I'm very much in the first camp, the mm. lazy <laughs> camp. I, the more things to lose, the more I will lose them. So yes. do you record, when you're out with us doing video, do you record video to both card slots as a backup? You know, I wish I had. <laughs> I was thinking tip, about that. A tip for next time, Gavin. Gavin, next time. <laughs> Can you imagine if because I just want the yeah. bottom of Pilatus and Gav goes... My card's corrupt. Because you didn't really shoot much still when we were out there, did you? Because obviously being the video guy. I didn't take a single still image. Right. Not wow. one. Well, you can oh. take it all off your video. It's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but as I said, normally you could do video to both slots and then you've got the backup. I know. He knows that for next time. I know that for next time. You yeah. need to take a technical We've got another question. Question. How do you save from the camera to the hard disk? Yep. Good question. So how do I do that? That's, that's where the uh, laptop comes in. Hey, is it Mick? Oh, it is Mick. Hi, Mick. Hello, Hi, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mick and I go back uh, a long way. Uh, um, so, yeah, I took this little, this is a little um, tablet uh, hard drive, uh, hard drive, uh, tablet laptop. So it is Nice a, and light. It is small, it's light, it just about fitted in. It comes with a type cover. Oh, oh yeah. It goes on there nice, like that. Nice. So, um, and around breakfast, because we were filming at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, yes. That's around breakfast, handy. we were able to review the video files yep. um, because I could then and just decide plug. that we needed to reshoot. So then you can say, that. are they corrupted? Is what have, they, have you got enough footage? Is the yep. footage working? Mm. And obviously, you need to review Do all Claire the time. Do Claire look like this to the sleep? Do we, we? We might have a bit of footage of you looking really <laughs> bad. Um, if you want to <laughs> see what these two look like in the morning, just put it in the comments. Just say yes, please in please the comments, don't. and I please. might, I might. Please don't I mean, say yes. I, I mean, this was after. <laughs> 
me climbing up and Sam saying, I said, I just need a minute, Sam saying, are you all right? And Sam, <laughs> Sam trying, I said, I don't feel very well. <laughs> okay, I had never drink or anything. Um, the altitude crew. It was Gavin's the, oh, trying to look at the comments so to see if people are saying yes. No, no nobody wants, wants to see, see you looking bad Thank in the morning. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. <laughs> we love you. Oh no, look, one. We got we got a couple of people who might want to see. You. <laughs> I bet it's our regulars. It's either Claire or Susie. Susie, if that's oh. you. <laughs> Manuel, yes, please. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, oh, I... Cecilia, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, dear. okay. So um, if you have It's watched... coming. No, no, I've got to do it now. I promised. Uh, you need to go and watch the like other video as well once you've watched this. Hang on. I'll find, I'll find a bit go where back. you look so happy. Here we go. <laughs> oh... I'd like to remember that Claire snored like a sailor. <laughs> Let's put All it on the screen. All night. Oh, bless. Let's have a look. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, dear. Oh, look, I there we are. I think might be lucky. It might be just a wide shot. Oh, that's good. So this was <laughs> sunrise Not just happy. after? <laughs> yes, this is just, just after the sun sunrise. Oh, so, you, look, you look like you're so happy, Claire. I look, um, <laughs> Julia's like on Julia's top of the world. Julia's like, she's so yeah. happy. Um, but She's used to this. I think, sleeping. yeah, I think what it when we saw the footage play back, we went and had breakfast, didn't we? And we were like, that is not the Claire and Claire that we know and love. We looked quite eh, tired, depressed, <laughs> broken, <laughs> broken, whatever not you want to say. Not, yeah, oh, look, look at me. <laughs> look at my gr grumpy face. <laughs> So, yeah, so... Um, oh, thanks, Gavin. There are this, worse... This was um, the stuff we said we'd never show anybody. I know. Right? Oh, Gavin, what have you done? I, but, I should um, probably stop it there, because I think it gets worse. There yeah, is worse, so. but um, <laughs> let me tell you, that that's just that's the easy bit. Now, thankfully, there was no audio. Uh, but one of the other reasons we uh, was difficult to film up there was... Because obviously when you're trying to shoot a launch video for a product that's not out yet, what other things come into play? Oh... oh. People. people. The real people. You spent the entire time going, cover the camera, cover the camera. <laughs> There's people over there. Because obviously it's a viewpoint it and is. people want to get up for the sunrise. It's quite popular. I really um, hope they wouldn't though. You know, well, you just, thought they I were just miraculously thought, you know not going to be it's there. It's a bit cloudy. It's early. People aren't. They're going to want to stay in bed and watch the view from the lovely hotel room. And of course, when you are trying to when you are trying to shoot a video, of course, you've got mics on and all that. So people are very interested oh, in yes. what's going There's on. There's a camera filming so, you. We oh, have an oh, audience. Are they one. famous or oh, what are they doing? Down <laughs> we there? are. So well, everybody the started to. I was like, cameras down. So you, as soon as you see anybody, you have to hide the camera. It was, it was like this. Hello, we are the Claires, and we're here to launch the brand new. <laughs> So, yeah, so we decided after about two hours uh, to go and get some chips. We had and some coffee. Cancel it. Had some breakfast. We did. And we, and we went down. Let's see if we Claire was like, let's go down there. <laughs> I can see a boulder that looks like a sofa. And it did. <laughs> However, going down was, was so far, right? It was, it was fine. Yeah, it was a long way. Yeah. Um, and in our heads, we were like, we've got to get back up. Yeah, so uh, climbing down was fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I look full of beans there. Come Thank on. You. You've had come coffee. On. <laughs> You've got your sunnies on. Come with me. Come on. We're off. But coming back up, not so pretty. Um, but it is. <laughs> I remember going down the hallway saying, that rock looks exactly the same as all of the other rocks. Let's just film here. No. And you're going, no, no, we're going to that rock miles away. I still can't see that rock. I can it's, see it there. Look, it's, there it is. There, down look. here. That, that yeah, rock that just one there. there. I just knew oh, yeah. that if we sat on that rock, you'd have all that stuff behind and it would look amazing. And it did. And it did, to be fair. So I had a vision in my mind, thankfully. I liked it. It was fine. Once but, you um, fuel Claire with coffee, that's it. There's no stopping it. Yeah. So let's talk about settings. So you yes. talked about... Uh, 4k mm -hmm. video what about other settings you go or uh, manual iso or so um this was i mean the morning when we were up on the top of the mountain and the sun was rising the the light was changing continuously so every few seconds the exposure was different i'm not that fast at changing settings right in this situation so the video you're watching now filmed on the om1 um, mark two and three we're in manual mode. Right. The lighting isn't changing in here. Yep. It's exactly the same lighting throughout. Control. It, yeah, so <laughs> manual mode when you've got control of the lighting. I was in shutter priority mode. Okay. So I'm just setting my camera shutter speed to 125th of a yep. second and letting the camera do the ISO and the aperture because the light was changing all the time. I'm reviewing it on the, the LCD and I'm adjusting the exposure compensation, but I'm not adjusting anything else. Yeah. I'm just... just 
playing it really, really smooth and easy. Uh, because it's just quicker to do that way around. Yeah, right. Uh, if you've got a fixed lighting, great. But for everybody else, shutter priority mode for, for video is, is absolutely perfect. So 125th of a second. Do you know what happens if you put your shutter speed higher or lower than the recommended no. settings? Um, Lag? Do you know, it's nothing happens. I was going to say, doesn't it? <laughs> nothing. Uh, nothing really happens. Nothing. So there's, we, we stick to these rules in, in video for 60th for 30 frames a second and 125th for 60. It doesn't matter if you don't get that right, unless you've got something that's moving fast. Right, so, I was going to say, okay. then you're going to get weirdy, blurdy. So, Ante and uh, Matt were in Australia doing the waterfalls. Yeah. yeah. There was essential that they got their shutter speed right because otherwise it becomes that sort of staccato effect yeah. if you go too fast. Claire and I struggling to climb up a mountain nice and slow. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you're fine. Yeah, so I stick it on that, but it, it, it's kind of not an exact science okay. with, with video. You've got to just sort of play it by, by rule. And honestly, if I was just shooting Christmas on the OM1, I'd stick it in program mode and just go for it. So I was going to say, can you give our viewers, if we're thinking about getting into yeah. video, especially if they yes. do have an OM1, because obviously it's now got all those pro video features, any tips? Yeah, program mode and go for it. That's, <laughs> there that's you go. It. <laughs> I mean, program mode and go for it. So that's a great place to start because the key is like, like photography, the, the hardest part is actually picking up the camera. Yeah, and yeah. doing it. And, and doing it, yeah. having a go. Make so, mistakes, that's what I say. So uh, program mode and go for it, that, that works fine. I would film in 4K if you possibly can. You're going to need a reasonably fast mi uh, memory card, so get those UHS Class 2 cards because 4K is pretty data heavy. Um, so that future proofs you as well because I mean, for a couple of years, it wasn't that long ago, I was doing 720p and going, oh. Ooh, wow, I remember when wow. uh, wide came in, it was used to be four by three. It's like, remember when YouTube switched to wide oh. angle, it's like wide 7, uh, 1080, 69 came in. I was like, whoa. That was nuts. Now, we've spoken about your favourite lens, 1240, for yep. stills and yep. for video. Mm -hmm. Any others, any longer sort of stuff, if you're going to do B-roll or if you're going to do different so, bits? Today is a great example. So today we've got the 1240 filming us and we the do. 25 F1.2. Nice. Beautiful So lens. the F1.2 is a really nice... My favourite. So I tend to use the primes in the studio because they're just a bit faster. Okay. It just lets in more light. It's just kind of makes sense. They're also really light. But one of the other reasons for sticking with this one particular lens was the, the gimbal. So when you get a gimbal, you have to balance it for the camera kit. Okay. Ah, um, so, so when you buy a gimbal, they'll ask what camera and what lens is going on it. Not, no, exactly. No, you have to slide all these, there's, there's all these little oh, bits yeah. that right. need to be slid. And, nice weight. And it's okay. little things, like if I didn't have the, the screen flipped out, if I had it flipped in, it would Oh, not balanced properly. So um, getting it right and balanced setup. and sticking to one setup is well, hey, really don't good. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. So um, that's kind of why I just took that lens. I mean, I go everywhere with a 1240. I, I use I it for all you of my are portraits. The master of the 1240 yeah, is the master yeah. of the 1240. <laughs> 1240. So uh, that's kind of essential. But one thing I did take that we haven't covered, just to wrap up, is this power supply mm. ah. because I only use one battery the right. entire time I never took the battery out the OM1 right Fantastic. not once you just charged it when you stopped another so this is couple. my uh, standard uh, this is actually the, the laptop charger yeah and yeah. it fits well that's what I take for my one Brilliant. one charger yeah. charges all never even thought about that yeah <laughs> yeah guys so the laptop charger charges the laptop it charges my phone, mm. and it charges the OM1. And Excellent. if you can't get to a plug, you can take a power bank and do the same with that, right? There we go. Didn't have one in here, actually. But I was going to say, where's yeah. your power bank? No, we have a power bank. Um, but yeah. yes, the power bank again, power yeah. delivery, make sure that it's the decent PD versions yeah. because they're nice, <laughs> even. Is that? You can have those. It's those oh, oh, earplugs. Oh, earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> had some earplugs in the I'll bag. Take, that's yeah. everywhere <laughs> I go with Claire now. We have a question. What make is the gimbal? That is a very good question. I spent far too long researching gimbals. <laughs> Did you? I mean, there are a lot of gimbals out there, obviously. There. And you do, uh, sometimes they're specifically made for uh, cameras. Yeah, so there are features uh, that I don't use where you can actually plug in to the camera or into the gimbal and it can control some of the features. Okay. Follow focus wheels and bits and pieces. Um, I did, didn't use any of that. So uh, I've gone uh, with, let's get it the correct one. It's a DJI. Yeah. It is the Ronin SC2. 
I think there's an SC3 out there. Ah, there's a weather okay. um, so yeah, and I got the little small rig handle on the back. It has a little uh, mounting point for that. So I have a, a small rig handle, which makes it much easier to, uh, to hold and adjust. I like this one because it's really for travel. So there's a, yes, a bit really nice and light. unscrews there. And if I get it right in the right way. Go on, Gav, don't break it on. And if you were to put um, so like it folds a, down. an Atomos screen or something like that on it, that's still able to do that within that realm. Yeah, so the Atomos screen, there's, there's little uh, bits that can be connected up. And it does all come apart, yeah. look at that. So you can put an Atomos screen onto the side there. Oh, brilliant. Okay, and you have a little HDMI that then sort of comes down. Yeah. And in that way, but yeah, it breaks down super small. So that the whole thing cool. folds down into pieces. And what's the weight of that? It's about that heavy, try that. How would you... I'm gonna say, oh, I'm gonna say about 1.2 to three kilos. It makes our cameras feel really light. Yeah. <laughs> tell, you, tell you what it does. Yeah. I mean, it's I wouldn't want to... That's, that's weighted. But yeah. I suppose yeah. when it's evened out like that, the weight's not in one lump, is it? It's much... You try carrying that up a mountain, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. You wouldn't... I and mean, that's the thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you did so well travelling light. I know. And then, you know. Well, it doesn't matter. We've got the kit's light, so if he has to take a bit exactly. of weight with the gimbal, that is what it yeah, is. It and the lighter weight kit means the batteries don't wear down so quick because it doesn't yeah. have to work so hard to balance everything up. Yep. Yeah. All good stuff. Good stuff. So, uh, any other questions before we go? Uh, Gav, what else have you been up to? I mean, obviously, have you been doing any sort of portrait portrait oh, shoots? Oh, here we there. go. Did you, John says, did you edit on the laptop while on location? So, John, that's a really good question. My original plan was to do that, but then these two kind of got in the way because... Um, well, we were going to film in the morning. Expect the unexpected. And then they're like, no, we're going to go and film again in the afternoon. <laughs> and um, oh, I was going to... Gonna do a bit. I was going to go to sleep. No, a bit of editing. Dinner. We did. Pizza. So, yeah. Um, mm. So, no, I didn't. And to be honest, this, this little laptop's not really up to the job of handling So, you just use that for viewing rather than you do the editing when you get home. Yeah. Very much. Uh, the, the editing computer I have to handle multiple layers of 4K, um, it, it, it's quite a beefy yeah. uh, computer, shall we say. A lot of RAM and a, a lot of cores on the, mm. uh, the processor. Yeah. Awesome. So, Fantastic. Yeah. I uh, can't remember what you were saying. I said, what have you been doing any sort oh, yeah. of portrait <laughs> photography? Because obviously you are our portrait ambassador. So, uh, and obviously we've got you behind the scenes doing the Facebook and production. We but um, we... he's done a video recently. <laughs> I don't know what I'm allowed to talk about. No, you're not allowed to talk about so that. Go and talk about, talk about no, that. No, okay. Um, so I might have, I might have done some, um, some watch stuff. Out. Watch, watch this space. <laughs> Honestly, go watch us on um, <laughs> uh, Instagram on my stories and you get all the sneak yes. inside. It's terrible. Behind the scenes, yeah. Kevin. Yes. So, yeah, we, we still do uh, Adorama TV over in the States. We do one video for them every two weeks. Which is great, though. And I love them. I love them. And you just, to come up with the new ideas, if you haven't seen the latest yeah. one with the black and white Very lady cool. in the dress and the, the floor, I love it. So many Love of those, it. yeah. So we're, with Christmas coming up, everybody wants all <gasps> their content way yes. ahead because I know everything shuts down for Christmas. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So we've we've shot Christmas content in July. Filming, before. filming, filming. <laughs> Christmas in July. Yeah. So yeah, there's, there's always something new coming out. And, yeah. and um, this is nice because I, I enjoy doing the video stuff and it, it's so different to the portrait yeah. stuff. It's, it's nice that the camera system will allow me to do both things mm. really well mm. and I get to do it. So. And you get a challenge to learn something new, always good to add extra skills and challenge. Well, we'd love to throw a challenge at Gavin, don't we? We do. Yeah. And Gav's like, what? We're like, yes, we're going to do this. But um, he always rises to the challenge and he's still our favourite. So we're absolutely over Can't have favourites. That's not... Can't Did I say for it? Favourite... Can I be your favourite Gavin? Favourite Gavin? Yeah, of course. See? I don't, all, all, the all the Gavins will come in now and go, <laughs> what about me? No, I mean, he, uh, as I said, he does so well uh, behind the scenes. And though, I meant as in put up with us. Yes. He you know, nobody up can put up with lot. us like Gavin can. If you so. sit here for an hour and watch us, imagine Gavin and Sam putting us... How many days? Two days? Yeah. It was a quick turnaround. Yeah. He flew out. It was a long flight. Two nights. <laughs> Felt like a long flight. It's Gavin sat next to me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think I'm done. I mean, it's amazing. We're Honestly, done. it's been brilliant to have you on. We've sort of put this extra coffee with the Claire's on. And we, as I said, you always hear about Gavin Sam behind the scenes. But we wanted to bring Gav out the front. Thank you very much for and, having me uh, on. I much appreciate talk it. Talk about the video and how it's shot. Because and it was such a great video. It I was. say it, you know. Every five minutes. If you haven't bit, seen it, go and watch it. Go and have a watch because it really is amazing. So thank you for that. And we're Pleasure. looking forward to the next one. Can't wait, whatever that might be. So Claire, what's on? Well, Claire, we've got our Christmas special. 
Yes. Coffee with the Claire's Christmas special on the 21st of December. Yes. So that's coming up. And I believe David has some Christmassy themed Tech Thursdays yep. coming in as well. So keep an eye on that. There'll also be more live sessions and tutorials being added for yep. January. Wonderful. And we've got the AMA session coming up that we was do. rescheduled. So that'll be on very soon. Um, but keep your eyes on all the social channels and on the uh, My Olympus events platform for events and online events near you. Uh, thank you again to Gavin. Thank you to Sam and Freya. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys uh, to you for joining. So it's always wonderful to see you all. It's been brilliant. And we'll see you on the 21st of December. See you again soon.